Okay, <clears throat> this evening's update. As you can see, there's a whole lot of mud and what there is, the channels are, <clears throat> excuse me, quite wide um, because I'm using a 16 inch trowel to put the stuff on um, <clears throat> so that when it's uh, dried and sanded, everything is, is really smooth. Um, uh, the, the, most of this is now done. What remains is small fill-ins, so that should be easy. Um, but I did make one discovery. What I thought was a bump in the plaster is actually not a blump, bump in the plaster. It's a blister in the tape, so there's air under that. So when I come back, when that's all dry, I'll uh, basically I'll have to cut that um, pocket of paper off. And what I understand is that I won't be able to mud over it. I'll have to uh, prime it uh, so that the, the underlying paper doesn't absorb any more liquid from the um, mud, because if it does, then the layer beneath will start to blister. But um, we're getting, I am getting very, very close. So I've run out of time tonight. Otherwise, uh, I've got this to do, that to do, and this is almost nothing. Um, and this I, I got last, last night, so I can just sand that down. So yeah, it is finally coming along. And then, um, for the like millionth time, I'll pick up the, uh, mud that I gooped all over the floor. Um, that grouting tool is of no particular value because even though it's the smallest size, it's still too big to fit in the very small <clears throat> gaps that I left in my tile job. So anyway, that's the only thing preventing me from uh, grouting. So I get the mud finished, particularly on the ceiling, because I don't want to be dropping any more into the cracks before I grout. But <clears throat> as soon as the ceiling and such is done, I, I guess technically I don't even need to sand it down. I can do the grouting. And then a day or two after that, toilet, shower. Okay, bye.